Um, so I'm a music uh, educator and um, I teach piano and guitar and ukulele um, and I also uh, work with young people in mainly in schools, um, primary and secondary um, and in this case in the Lullaby Project I'm more of a music facilitator where I come in and I play songs and I facilitate songwriting, um, in this case it's writing lullabies um, and um, what I do is I guess help people build their confidence in expressing their voice, um, in improving their music skills, um, in learning creativity. My job is about taking care of kids. I am taking care of kids while their mothers are studying in the adult English class and also I am entertaining kids in the playgroup. Um, the Lullaby Project is a really um, interesting um, program that just started at Dufton College. Um, we really want to reach out to the mums in this community, and as we know, it's a really diverse community, um, mums from different cultures, and the whole idea about this project is to bring mums together um, to share their cultural lullabies, um, the songs that they sing to their babies in their languages, the songs that they've learned um, from their moms or their aunties or their their grandma as they were growing up um, and it's a really beautiful space for, for us to do um, movement and dance um, play some instruments uh, it's a good space for the moms to um, socialize and to share a bit of the stories um, of their backgrounds um, and yeah it's a beautiful space for the babies to um, bond with their moms um, and be able to hear um, songs in their in their mother tongue so we really want to um i guess promote that and yeah create a nurturing space for that to happen lullabies mostly it's a melody and it's it's relaxation and it's it's a kind of comfortable songs for the babies so babies knew that mother's mother is around her and she's taking care of her. She's the baby's family about the, her voice and she loves that. So that's why we sing lullabies. Um, lullabies are so beautiful because they, I guess, originate from the mom singing to their child and uh, one of the characteristics is it's meant to calm the baby when the baby is crying or the baby needs to go to sleep so lullabies are usually um, it's got a lilting melody or it's got a very um, I guess a bright or a happy or joyful um, tone and um, when the mom sings it it's I guess very soothing for the baby to hear I feel very relaxed, especially when I hear lullaby from Tamil language. I feel relaxed because I am familiar with that song. So. Um, it's so interesting because every lullaby has a story. Um, the person who wrote it um, wrote it in a particular context, country, um, a tribe. Um, I've learned some African lullabies and often it's very simple um, but it's interesting because it reveals a bit about the culture or the, the background of where the lullaby came from. <laughs>
in tamil we call thalattu lullaby means thalattu thal means tongue so our thalattu means the frequent movement of tongue the at the beginning of the song you can sing like ararum ariraru aradichu niyaludai you can feel that if you sing that song you can feel that the frequent movement of your tongue because it's a melody it's it's a very nice uh, melody for the children so they can feel relaxed i think it's been really nice for me to i guess think about um my my background and um kind of look back at what lullabies i used to sing when i was younger or or people sang to me when i was younger um and yeah the one that i just mentioned rasa sang was one of the favorite ones that came up doi 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 I know a lot of lullabies but I prefer to sing my own language lullaby it's called araro ariraro and in tamil we call thalat yeah So this song is called Mambo Sawa and it's in the language called Swahili. Um so it's a song from Africa and it basically means things are getting better. Um and it's a lovely song to sing to your baby as you're trying to rock the baby to sleep or you're trying to cheer the baby up and stop um him or her from crying. Thank you. 
Te pedí 